right, uh, welcome back to the Good Morning Nine Joshua. I believe say that uh, video will play now, and I don't see the update on how the third mainland bridge uh, Waka go be uh, based on say the the bridge don't start and uh, repairs and a lot of things they put into consideration based on say there's some kind of closures will happen within some frame of time and how people go feel they move from uh, the mainland to the island and still all those level now within the GM of last month talk with that and I believe say you don't get all that information when you need on top of that level. Remember say I tell and I say I get uh, two better guests on top of the show today. We just finished our first conversation with Dr. Jumbo and we did talk about intentional parenting and how parents feel make sure say that they're involved in the upbringing of their children intentionally uh, as the what they did here. So our next conversation today will be with Samuel Obode, an uh, uh, entrepreneur. We're going to be discussing starting um, um, a, a, a product management uh, career in Nigeria. Product management career. Well, uh, Mr. Samuel, welcome to the Good Morning Ninja Show, and uh, thank you for coming on as our guest today. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, wonderful. So uh, it's our culture on the show to always ask our guests how they are doing, uh, because we know that there's a pandemic and a lot of things have changed. So we would like to know, honestly, how are you doing in this pandemic season? Well, uh, thank God we are doing great. Uh, it's not been easy, to be honest, uh, but due to the nature of uh, our industry, the technology, it's not been so much of uh, a, a skip curve. So uh, we've been able to you know, manage things and with remote work and things like that. So the only um, challenge in our mental health, which we all know is and uh, try to you know, exercise mm -hmm. on a, once or twice, you know, get out of your seat once in a while to, to you know, uh, keep yourself sane, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. So our conversation today, let's just jump right into the conversation today. Uh, it's about product management. So for the layman who will be listening or watching this, I mean, like product management, wait to me that. Okay, so give us a clear breakdown of, or a brief breakdown of what product management is so we can start it off from there. Okay. All right. So uh, thank you once again for having me on the show. Um, uh, my name is Samuel Obode, as you rightly mentioned, and uh, of Trade and Trade Services. I'm an entrepreneur. So, product management, uh, I would like to start with product design in and of itself. So, mm -hmm. product design is more taking an idea and um, bringing it out. Eventually, your output is getting the product you know, out. Even, then, you now go on to the product, product management um, side of things. Now, mm -hmm. in, in, in actually, designing and managing a product, you know, there are several things that you need to put into consideration from, you know, your customers, your, you know, your pilot region mm -hmm. to, you know, what, what are the, those features you want, um, the value you want your customer to get. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we are in, we are in a world where um, we are customer um, driven, customer focused. And if you design a product, that people do not need or do not like, they are dead in the water. So product management is a whole lot of things, um, but most importantly, it has to do with a lot of innovation in our, in our day and time today. It has to do with a lot of processes, how you, how you, a lot of communication, how you communicate to the user. So there are so many products, fantastic products out there and due to poor product management and poor product design, mm -hmm. it has failed. You know, um, back, back when the study was done, uh, I think 2015, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was either KPMG or, uh, or KWC, I'm not sure which, but it showed that a whole lot of uh, products are, are failed because of poor change management, basically, and change management instead of communicating to your users. So in today's world, you have to know what you want to, the value you want to actually give to your, your customers. Mm -hmm. You need to know the value you as an organization would like to derive. What, you know, there are three questions we, we, we ask ourselves in product management and product design. Mm -hmm. is why, what, and how. So why yeah, am I doing this in the, first, in the first place? So you need to constantly ask yourself if you're going into you know, product management yeah. uh, why am i doing why do i want to do this thing what exactly do i want to do and how do i want to go about it mm 
Now, in the, in the, in, in answering the question around the career uh, and going into a career and product management in, in this region today, I personally like to take a, a customized approach. Okay. Uh, in that regard, today we have um, uh, a training, a sort of training outfit, even though it's not, uh, it's not, it's more or less like an NGO, giving back to society. So we train people in product design and product management and other, other um, pieces of technology today. Yeah. So in, if you want to go into a career um, in product management, you need to first understand the entire technology ecosystem because um, that in the product we actually um, deal with here is more uh, software and technology products. Yeah. So, I mean, I won't go into all of the other types of products mm -hmm. in the industry. Mm -hmm. In other industries, I, I just stick to um, IT. So, in that regard, you need to first understand the software development life cycle. And in understanding that, you'll be able to understand how product programmers operate, mm -hmm. how um, the, the different aspects of um, technology. So, I'll, I'll explain um, briefly break down the aspect of technology okay. that there is. Okay. There is um, the software design. Yeah. In software design is also broken down into several different uh, area parts, basically. So, you know, today we are aesthetically moved by what we see. So if you yes. go to a site or an app and you see how nice it is, mm -hmm. you are more inclined to, you know, always go there than an app that looks, you know, really shabby. And so we call that who actually make that aesthetic. Um, the UI UX designers, in, in that sense, user interface, user experience designers. Mm -hmm. So um, as a product manager, you have to understand all of these um, um, aspects of technologies from the UI UX testing to the front end designer to the back end designer. Yeah. To the data uh, people, so their data and data is also actually another huge terrain where so you have you have your data analyst, you have your data scientist, you have your database administrator and, and the like. So as a product with, um, uh, manager, you have to understand all of these um, career parts and all of these um, um, uh, what they called all of all of those uh, angles in IT. So, so are you can manage are you clearly stating that you must have knowledge of all these um, different arms uh, intensely or just surface knowledge? No, surface, surface, surface so knowledge. Okay. If you have intense knowledge, it, you, 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 you stand um, above the, um, your peers, actually, in English, okay. to okay. be honest. So if you actually, because when you're managing these people, you know, it, it's, a, it's a very unique set of dynamics and relations between all of these things. And like you, your own human management is the most difficult mm -hmm. um, part of management. And as a program, program manager, as a um, manager, I believe that the number one um, job description is managing people. Yeah. Because you need them to get the product out. Mm -hmm. but, so in that managing of the product, you have to manage the people to yes. actually manage the product. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. that, is, that is why I believe understanding Programmers are very unique set of people are very funny kind of people. You need to understand their pain point. You need mm -hmm. to understand, you know, they are very smart. However, um, the programmer, they don't, they don't think like a user. So you are the product manager as well as, you know, in conjunction with the quality assurance um, personnel. Mm -hmm. it's your job to help them see the bigger picture, that's, that's um, why you are doing that thing. So yeah. when you understand why you are doing what um, you have decided to so if I have a, a product project sponsor, for example, if you come to me today and say, yes, you have an idea, you want to build this product and you have the money to spend, it is my job to first understand what you want to do, why you want to why do it. Why you want to do it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I will now be able to come up with how to achieve that goal yes. as well. Yeah. And that then I am managing, you know, your product. So if someone is coming into this um, terrain to build a career, I would advise the person to first understand all the facets, but like you like said, it can be on the surface level. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, but if a programmer or anybody in software development um, a landscape metamorphoses into a product manager, he's always more, you know, refined. So he can actually even direct programmers and direct the backend people if they are going astray and, you know, advise. So this is how you do it. Yeah. Unlike the one who just knows on the surface, which you, you have to consult with them. And if they tell you oh, this this thing is not possible, you 
Yeah. You have so to take it that way because you don't exactly, know. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So, but again, it doesn't really mean that you need to go in there. They are, they are fine product managers who do not um, go and um, know the end um, of all of these things, but yeah. they are doing good. Mm. So, it's always going to be a today. I would say try as much as possible to understand you know, all of these the software development life cycles, which will help you um, succeed and thrive in your chosen career. So, so um, how important is uh, product management in an organization? How important is it? Because you, you gave examples on how uh, the product manager can have uh, surface ideas of all these uh, d different arms that function under him. But is it, how important is it for, a, to, for a, an organization to have a product manager? Okay, so in reality, it is your, if the product manager is so, so, so important, you can, I can help by emphasize the importance of having that person in a team. Now, I would like to use an analogy of, uh, let me say, a football team, for example. Yes, okay, let's do that. More or less like how, how important mm -hmm. is the coach. Now, there are players who, so let me say, for example, a captain of a team. Mm -hmm. Let's imagine there's a captain that is very efficient. Mm -hmm. um, and you know they don't have a coach, so he's just the one gathering people to you know play the game. Play the game More yeah. the team as the coach himself, because the captain is usually interested in probably that particular game. You know, trying to just about this, the, the falling aspect of things. But what we don't see behind the scenes uh, um, of this soccer um, team is that there's there's a whole lot of management that come into play, managing the players, their welfare. Even down to their and uh, the tools they need, their training mm -hmm. and all of those things. Mm -hmm. That's where product manager comes into play. You have all of these people who are technology, very brilliant um, programmers, very brilliant data analysts, very brilliant. However, they are not they are not built to actually, you know, have an overarching view of things. Yeah. Um, ideally. So let me give you an example. Um, if you tell a programmer. Build me a web, um, for a login, for example, you know, we all log into all of our applications today, and you say, build me a login um, page. Yes. When he comes back, I can bet, I can I can tell you for a fact that he, 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 what he'll do will be happy. Now, not because he doesn't have an idea of a login screen. Mm -hmm. It's because you haven't told him certain things. So the programmers do exactly what, what you, you ask them, them to do. Okay. So, but, as a product program manager, I know that from a login perspective, I, you know, first and foremost, I don't have to, the person has to register before he logs in. So I need to have a registration page. The programmer is not going to go and think, oh, you don't do a login page, you might not have to do a registration page. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the programmer is going to build that page. You didn't tell him, okay, while logging in, do um, authentication, let him there, maybe a two factor authentication where you have to send an OTP so yeah. that you can log in. So he's going to build you a page. So, He's not going to think of security. He's not going to think of um, the ease of use for the user. Mm -hmm. So there are some login pages that are just very bland. There are some login pages that are very intuitive. Yeah. There are some pages that just have and tell you, okay, log in with your Facebook. Login, yeah, uh, that refer you to that. Yes. Like that. So to make it easier. You have as a product program manager, you have to understand the product manager. You have to understand what your product is, what your user journey. So they will call with you. So I don't want to go deeply into okay. product design. Okay. But there are things that you build your user story, your user journey. Now, because that user experience is key. Now, there is in product design, there is a there is a part that is not seen itself. Now, if for example, I ask you um what your best application is, you have one, but if I ask you why is that your best an application because the other people are doing exactly the same thing, yes. say, for example, yeah. banking app. And you may not know, it's just because you feel, as in you feel the ease. So mm -hmm. that user experience is felt. And to be honest with you, most of this ease that we see in our application, it's, it's subconscious to the users, but somebody has sat down to think through that journey that you are going through yeah. in that app and the, and the experience you are feeling right now. So that's not the job of a programmer. He's not never going to be able to build that experience for you. Okay. So you build it out and they implement. Like again, it's like an architect um, um, scenario and a bricklayer. Yeah, the bricklayer brick just knows where to build the blocks. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. So that, that's the difference. It's mm. very important to have 
product design. Uh, product, so sometimes product managers are multifaceted kind of people. Okay. Um, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, we have so many, um, <laughs> not so many, uh, you know, tag and uh, names of uh, roles in technology. Mm -hmm. So for a program manager, my ideal program manager is someone who, who, who bears multiple hats. So there's what we call solutions architect. A solutions architect is more or less like the architect of a building, like I said. So you architect the entire solution. Yeah. Uh, when the program program manager comes and explains this is what I want to achieve, uh, he also wears he also to wear the hat of somewhat a quality assurance person. To check. He also wears the hat of the user experience person mm -hmm. because the success of your product depends on your users, not on how good you think your product is. Yes. They so, in your ability to actually build out that experience, test it, and ascertain that we are on the right track, you have to have all of these. You have to be a business person as well as a technology person mm -hmm. at the same time. So, these are the, there are several hats, you know, to it, and all in one will make a perfect, you know, product manager. It's, it's, it's interesting that, uh, that you brought up all these, uh, like you said, it's, it's, it's multifaceted, seeing the fact that he has mm -hmm. to carry on different responsibilities. Now, yeah. that brings me back to the conversation where they say jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Is that ever the case? Seeing you want me to have knowledge of all these things and still, um, um, uh, you know, deliver um, perfect in all of them. Is that usually possible, the case, when it comes to deliverables for a product manager knowing, having ideas of almost every aspect that, uh, that is uh, required of him and still be excellent in all of them at the same time. Does that really work? So, I would like to, I, I know that phrase, but I would like to push it a little bit for a product manager. Okay. It, should be a, it should be a case of jack of many trades a master of one. Okay. Now, because those many trades tend to add up to the skill set and the requirements you need to master that one. Okay. Product management. Okay. In that regard. Now, like I said, you have an idea of everything, but you don't have to do those things. Okay. So you're not really actually a jack of that trade. You just know the trade. You, know you, know you know many trades, but it helps you master that product management um, piece of thing. Mm. So um, I think that that's the case here. So it may not really um, fit into that jack of all trades um, analogy. Okay. Okay, good. It's good that you actually uh, um, explained that. Now, uh, we just want to find out, what's the, is there a difference between a project manager and a product manager? Because uh, they can say, okay, a project manager is probably still the one who handles the project, gets everybody together, makes sure everybody's doing what they have to do to sort it out. He also needs, um, you know, surface knowledge of most of the activities of the project that is handling. But for a professional in this aspect, can you tell us uh, the, the difference between a project manager and a product manager? Okay. Now, I would say this can all fit into the analogy of that of all trades. A master of none. Okay. Now the thing, a product manager can also be a project manager. Okay. And you know, in this part of the world where we are, where we try to have people do multiple things at the same time, you know, that sometimes uh, most times is the case. However, there should be there's a difference. Now, the product manager is who builds out the product in terms of like I like I mentioned. Person has to do things like your business model canvas to understand your cost structure, your revenue model, things like your channels of engagement, where how you want to engage. So somebody has to see that and think, mm -hmm. you that product? I'm sure before the, this huge companies, the banks build any product. They already know this is the, these are the channels we are going to. So we are going to be on web, we are going to be on mobile, we are going to be um, at, at um, the ATMs, we are going to be in airports. So these are your channels. So yeah. someone has to see that. So the product manager's job is to sit down and say, okay. We will deliver our product to XYZ channel. We will, these are the partners we will need mm -hmm. on this, in these products to partner mm -hmm. with. These are the um, infrastructure resources. Yeah. When I say infrastructure, things like server, they are infrastructure, these are the human resources. These are the customers we, we intend to, to have. Mm -hmm. This is my cost structure, and this is my projected revenue model. This yeah. is my good market plan. 
it is the job of the product manager to think through all of these things and build out that product and design out the backward of product design. Mm -hmm. Now, the project manager is who now takes that design that has been built because when I build that design, I will now say, okay, I want my project to start on the 1st of August and I want it to end on the 1st of December. Yeah. And in the beginning, from that beginning to end, there are activities along the line. Yeah. Now, the project manager is who will be in charge of those activities and think that that activity is achieved. Hmm. Now, in terms of a race, there's what we call the race matrix. The race, R A C I, meaning someone is responsible, there's an accountable party, there's a consulted party, and there's an informed party. Hmm. Now, in that matrix, the product manager is accountable for that product. The project manager is responsible for the activities on the product, hmm. on, in delivering that product. Yeah. So he's doing a project. Now a product is more than a project in that sense. So I can tell you, I can give a project manager and say, deliver this project for me. This is my product design. These are the activities you need. So he will actually build the activities to meet up the eventual goal. Mm -hmm. And when he's done with that project and deliver this, you go live. That's not the end of your product. You also need so to that's the end of the project. The yeah. project, exactly. Mm. You know, so the product manager still is in charge of Collecting feedback, doing things like continuous integration and continuous um, de uh, design. So you get your feedback from the customers and you keep fixing and adding new features. Mm -hmm. That cannot be a different project. You know? So a product, uh, a, a product manager is actually more overarching than a project manager. It's, uh... The project manager is part of that specific project hmm. uh, that you want to do. But it's again, some, some product managers combine project management alongside. Alongside. It's, 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 it's quite interesting. Well, uh, this conversation has been very, very uh, educating and insightful. I believe that a lot of people know the difference now between a project manager and a product manager and how uh, important it is to have a product manager to in your business. Whatever kind of business you're doing, you really need a, uh, a product manager that can actually put all these things together in due time. Well, thank you very much, uh, Samuel Ogode, for this conversation. I believe that uh, the Nigerians watching us, they've gotten uh, one or two information that they will need in their business uh, from here on. Thank you for your time and thank you for joining us on the Good Morning Niger Show. Thank you very much. All right. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.